Okay, YouTube, I know I said, I know I said just five minutes ago that I was done for the night. Okay, but I want to show you guys something. This says bleach. This says, this is a all-purpose cleaner. And this is a scrubber. So what I'm going to show you, well, first, let me just say this. Let me just say this. I'm in my laundry room and tonight I am going to finish up making me some natural bleach, some natural all-purpose cleaner and a like bathroom scrubber or toilet scrubber, whatever you want to call this. Okay. Now, the reason that I make all of my own laundry detergent and bleach and pine soil, I make my own pine soil. Uh, I make my own lavender cleaner, all of this. And I'm going to show you guys that in all actually this week coming up but the reason that i make my own cleaners and laundry detergents is because of the carcinogens okay that's in our bleach our natural cleaners our bathroom scrubbers when we start to inhale store-bought bleaches and cleaners and scrubbers and things like that it brings on disease just as we eat things also things that we smell things that we clean with sometimes we often wonder why does my child keep having asthma attacks why is my child keep having seizures hell why am i constantly having seizures why am i sick why can't i breathe uh, sometimes you'll notice that when you go outside, when we go outside, we feel fine. The minute we come back in the house, we get tired, we get sleepy. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so worn out. More than likely, it's the things that you're using in your homes, okay? Because it's not natural. It's man-made with a bunch of chemicals, okay? So let me just show you this, and you guys can screenshot this if you if you please. This is my bleach, okay? I use three-fourth cups of peroxide. Screenshot this now. One-fourth cup of lemon juice. Fifteen drops of lemon oil. EOS means essential oils. Three-fourth cups of baking soda. And seven cups of water. And I put it in here and I do this. That's my bleach. You see this? One cup full. Just one cup full. Um, and I have the number two down here because I want my son to know what to use first, what to use second and things like that. And this can be, now this, this does not smell like bleach, but it's, it widens your clothes. It widens whatever you need to be whitened. This shall do it. And you also can put a little bit more, uh, lemon juice in here and a little bit more of lemon essential oils. So you can double the lemon essential oils by putting like 30 to 40. You're really going to get your clothes white and they're going to smell nice, fresh, and lemony. And this is good just to clean out your bathtubs, your toilets, whatever. It's just an all over cleaner. Spray it on your kitchen counters. This is chemical free. As you can see, all these are plants, okay? Except the peroxide. But still, peroxide is not going to um, give you headaches. Peroxide, nothing on here is going to, it has a um, carcinogens in it, okay? It's not going to become uh, carcinogenic as well. Okay, now we have the all-purpose cleaner, okay? And I just go to the dollar store and I buy these. The all-purpose, sorry, the all-purpose cleaner we have in here. I use eucalyptus, mint, lemon oil, water, and I use a little bit of borax, uh, zoat, uh, borax, and I, I use a little bit of zoat soap and some baking soda. This here gets anything nice and clean and fresh smelling. And you can just use the eucalyptus and the mint and the lemon. How? It all depends on how you want your house to smell. See, I love a lot of smell. I love a lot of scents. And also, when you use things like this for your natural cleaner, the eucalyptus oil, it is going to clear your respiratory system in your home. It's going to clean out viruses and clear out mold. Uh, eucalyptus uh, helps your um, 
your, your brain cells, the mint is going to help you if you have uh, congestion and asthma. It's going to clear out um, viruses in the home. Lemon does the same thing, okay? So this is something that you need. It's a great cleaner. You can clean your floors with it. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do with this. And it's chemical free. Now, this is a scrubber, okay? Screenshot this, people. This is my scrubber that I use. What, whatever I want scrubbed down, um... Even you can put it as a on your socks. So this is, I use baking soda, eucalyptus, mint, oil, um, borax, zote, kosher salt, and that's it. And I don't measure anything. And I also, I'm going to see if I can show you guys this. If you can see in here. See those little things in there? I also put fresh lavender flowers in there just to give it a little bit more of a spike. Then I took my drill. I took my drill and what I did with my drill was I drill holes all in it so that I can have it as a, I can shake this around. Now, the, euca the, the baking soda is going to get it white. The eucalyptus and the mint is going to freshen the home. It's going to help your brain cells, your respiratory system. The borax is going to clean it. The zote is going to clean it. And the kosher salt is your scrubber. All natural, people. All natural. Completely all natural. OK, and that's what we have to that's what we have to do in this world, especially now. You want as many things as possible to be as natural as possible. Now, if you're the type of person that you have to have the downy and the fabulosa and the pine soil and all of that, then um, I don't know what to tell you. These things give you fresh scents, like a nice, fresh scent when you come in my home this is what you smell in my home you smell um where is it at uh no it's over here you smell eucalyptus and mint that's what you smell i you can even sprinkle it around on your carpet sprinkle around in your house put it in a spray bottle like this just straight eucalyptus mint lemon and lavender and just spread it around your home spread it on your walls it actually kills viruses that's in the air as well okay so i just want to come on here real quick i didn't want to hold you long but it just crossed my mind and i just had to tell you guys um and i'm going to come back tomorrow i have so many things that i'm going to tell you guys and teach you guys this week i want to also it's so many things so it's just going to be a surprise every time i come okay so i just want to tell you that real quick and most of these things you guys have in your kitchen cabinets you know, everybody probably have peroxide and lemon juice, baking soda, water. <laughs> you just got to go and get your lemon essential oils. Uh, just get your essential oils and everything else you guys probably already have. Okay. So that's about it for tonight. And I will talk to you guys later. And remember, if you like this video, tell the world. And like, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe comment 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 share 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 peace and blessings